Hey, this is Gary. I've been uh, wearing hair now for almost a year, so I have a little bit of experience under my belt. And it's new hair day, so I wanted to share with you the new unit I just got in. And then I'll share with you some thoughts that I have about hair color, um, as that's actually a pretty important thing to adding to the realism of wearing a hair unit. So just to start off, I am currently wearing what's the M158, and that is a skin and lace hybrid unit. So basically it's all skin around the perimeter and there's a cross, a cross of skin. And then it has four vents on top for lace. So what this is is pretty good. Um, Pretty good compromise if you like the um, natural looking hairline that a skin unit would give you, but you don't really like how hot it gets. Um, I particularly, I work out three or four times a week and it's here in Texas where it gets really hot. So for me, a uh, full skin or full poly unit isn't the best dealing with the heat. It also creates a little bit of an aroma that um, I'm trying to avoid. So this is a really good compromise if you like both. The new unit I got is an M116M. It's a Swiss lace unit and it is a light to medium density. And let's go ahead and open it up. So when you get your box from Super Hair Pieces, it'll come in a box like this, pretty discreet and you'll see it comes in a nice plastic bag. Open it up and you'll notice it comes in netting. So you wanna carefully remove this netting. Um, you don't wanna tear at the hair. You don't wanna you know, cause any stress on the unit, though these things are pretty durable. Here we go. And there we go, lace is off. And um, one thing I did want to point out when you get a new unit is there's a tag always with it. The tag marks the exact back of the hair. So you want to keep that on until you have the template cut so you know where the front and where the back is. And then as well on the inside, there's going to be a plastic shell just to hold the unit in place and keep it shaped. Now you'll see with this unit, as I mentioned, it's a Swiss lace, so it's a much finer lace, but it also has, again, a hybrid approach where it has a skin back. So it's gonna have the back of the unit, it's gonna have a nice poly, which will give it a nice tight grip, but won't really add to the heat um, of wearing the unit. So here we go, that's the unit. Now, what I wanted to talk about is color. Because color is a very personal thing to many people. I think when I was growing up, I always had an affinity to gray hair. And I always like, please, please, please let me have gray hair, but don't go bald. And I got bald. But luckily the super hair pieces, they have come up with a solution that's been perfect for me. And, um, you know, I, I prefer having it gray and I do prefer the gray that I have selected. Now, let me go into that. There are a number of factors that you wanna look at when you are choosing your hair color. What I use as a go by, and I think most stylists will use this too, is if you look at what your biological hair is on the side, as well as what I have in my mustache and what grows in the beard, you can see it's scattered. It's not 100% gray, it's not 100% black. So you need to find that happy middle ground. So the unit that I'm wearing right now is what they have is the two ash, which is the darkest ash brown. Uh, not pure black, but what I've done is I've also added in a 60% gray. So you can see it's, it's kind of salt and pepper, kind of mixed but it really has a nice blend with my natural hair. Now, naturally, your hair on the sides may be a little lighter than on top, so I would say don't get completely bent out of shape if the color isn't a 100% match, because most guys do have it a little darker on top than on the sides. But with that said, you don't wanna go too dark, because nothing is gonna say 
either I color my hair or I'm wearing a unit by having a really harsh line between the, the hair piece and your biological hair. So when I was looking for my next unit, I really like this, this color and I am in a little more of a rush to get another unit because I'm about to go out of town. So I was looking at in stock units. Now, the color that I have was not in stock. So yes, if I was, if I had the time, I would go ahead and order it and you know, I would let it run its course. But since I had less time, I found this unit, which actually has what they have is 1B, which is an off black, brown black. Now that is a darker natural base than, here, hold it there, keep it focused. It's a slightly darker natural base to what I'm wearing right now. But what I did to compensate for that is instead of going with a 60% gray, I added it up to 70% gray. So you can see it's very, very close. And it's within the margin where once it's blended in on the side by my stylus, you're not gonna notice the difference. So I would say um, don't get completely hung up on the details. There is a margin of close enough um, that you can choose. I will say Super Hair Pieces has a wonderful team, a very skilled team that you can get on a video conference with them. They can talk to you about your density, they can talk to you about your color, and they will help you get the right unit. So hopefully next time you see me, I'll be wearing the new unit, the M116M. And that's all I have for today. So good luck and have fun out there. Bye.